Is a college degree worth spending $100,000 on? There is no one-size-fits-all answer to this question, as the value of college depends on each individual situation. However, if you have the means to attend a college that costs $100,000, it may be worth it if you're looking to pursue a high-paying career or you're interested in a particular field of study. Why is there so many useless degrees that aren't worth it? There is no easy answer to this question. Some people may say that there are too many useless degrees because colleges are creating too many programs that do not lead to good jobs. Others may say that there are too many useless degrees because students are not choosing the right majors or are not taking advantage of career counseling services. Got it, got it. So what do you think the United States should do in order to solve their college-related problems? There is no easy answer to this question. Some people may say that the USA should invest more in need-based financial aid or make public colleges free. Others may say that the USA should focus on increasing the number of high-quality, affordable colleges. What would you say is the most useless degree? There is no easy answer to this question. Some people may say that the most useless degree is one that does not lead to a good job. Others may say that the most useless degree is one that is not in demand by employers. All right, all right, you're kind of beating around the bush there, so what do you think? I think that the most useless degree is one that does not lead to a good job. Okay, you don't want to give an answer. How about this? Is gender studies a useless degree? Some people may say that gender studies is a useless major because it does not lead to a good job. Others may say that gender studies is not a useless major because it is important to understand gender relations in society. Wow, I swear, you're like a politician dodging these questions. Now, come on, what do you think on average is the truth? I think that on average, the average gender studies major is not going to get a good and high-paying job because the major is not in high demand by employers. Okay, finally you said it. There you go. Gently tap that like button if you think that gender studies is also a useless degree. So what college majors lead to the most millionaires? Degrees that lead to careers in business or finance tend to be the most lucrative on average. Got it, and what would you say is the best industry to work in? Some industries that tend to be profitable and have high paying jobs include business, finance, and technology. Okay, those are pretty good ones. So what is your favorite college major? I don't really have a favorite college major, but I think computer science is a great field of study. What would you say are the easiest college degrees to get? There is no easy answer to this question. Some people may say that degrees such as English or history are relatively easy to get, while others may say that degrees such as engineering or computer science are relatively difficult to get. Okay, okay. Is engineering a good major? Engineering is generally a good major, as it can lead to a variety of high-paying careers. Got it. And what would you say are the top five best business degrees? One, MBA. Two, BBA. Three, finance. Four, economics. Five, management. And what are the top five best technology-related degrees? One. Computer science. Two, information systems. Three, electrical engineering. Four, networking. Five, telecommunications. And what are the top five best engineering degrees? One, civil engineering. Two, mechanical engineering. Three, electrical engineering. Four, industrial engineering. Five, materials engineering. And what are the top five best science degrees? One, biology. Two, chemistry. Three, physics, four, earth science, five, environmental science. All right, so what are the top five best math or sort of math-related degrees? One, mathematics, two, statistics, three, actuarial science, four, economics, five, finance. All right, so kind of a general question, but what would you say is the biggest problem with college right now? The cost of college is a major problem for many students and their families. Other problems include the rising student debt crisis, the difficulty of finding a job after graduation, and the lack of preparation for the workforce. And how do you think the USA should solve the student debt crisis? The best way to solve the student debt crisis depends on the situation. However, some possible solutions include increasing financial aid, providing more scholarships, and making college more affordable. Interesting. And how would you say college can do a better job of preparing people for the workforce? Some possible solutions include increasing internships and co-op opportunities, providing more job-specific training, and making the transition from college to the workforce more seamless. Got it. And what are some of the most common bachelor degrees in the United States of America? 
The most common bachelor's degree in the United States is a business degree. And who makes more money, business owners or employees? On average, business owners tend to make more money than employees. And why do you think business owners make more money than employees? On average, business owners tend to make more money than employees because they have the potential to make a profit from their business. What would you say is the best part about going to college? The best part about going to college depends on each individual situation. However, some possible benefits of attending college include gaining knowledge and skills, meeting new people, and expanding your horizons. Do you think that the government in the United States of America should stop subsidizing college? There is no easy answer to this question. Some people may say that the government should stop subsidizing college because it is unfair to taxpayers who do not benefit from it. Others may say that the government should continue subsidizing college because it is an investment in the future of the country. Do you think that the government should pay for everybody's college education if they want to get one? Some people may say that the government should pay for everyone's college education because it would lead to a more educated and therefore productive society. Others may say that the government should not pay for everyone's college education because it would be too expensive and would not guarantee that everyone would actually benefit from it. All right, again, kind of beating around the bush there. That's a very political answer. Uh, what is your opinion? I think that the government should not pay for everyone's college education. Okay, very interesting. I kind of didn't expect you to say that. Uh, but with that being said, check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video, and I will see you next time.